Good morning, friends. Uh, today, I would like to discuss this very interesting paper just published on the European Heart Journal uh, on uh, February 7th, uh, 2022, on the effects of propionate supplementation on uh, cholesterol intestinal absorption and uh, atherosclerosis um, pathology. So I just want to point out that propionate uh, or propionic acid is a metabolite of um, the gut microbiota digestion of a dietary fiber, meaning that if you eat lots of fibers, legumes and whole minimally processed whole grains and vegetables, fruits and nuts, so foods that are rich in uh, dietary fiber, you are boosting your plasma levels of propionic acids and other short chain fatty acids that we now have anti-inflammatory and immune modulator activity and therefore they are essential in lowering the risk of developing allergic disease, autoimmune disease and inflammatory diseases. This paper for the first time shows that propionic acid is uh, therapeutically uh, uh, effective in reducing LDL cholesterol in humans and in animals, and in animals is also able to reduce the flux in the aorta of uh, uh, animals of mice that are APOE uh, knockout. Anyway, let's start with the human data because I think you know they are the most important. So in this small uh, double blind randomized clinical trial of 62 uh, volunteers, patients with high cholesterol, with the LDL cholesterol, plasma LDL cholesterol, higher than 115, they've been randomized to uh, 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 taking uh, 500 milligrams of propionic acid twice a day for eight weeks for two months or to placebo to control. The results are quite uh, striking because again, eight weeks only in eight weeks only, LDL cholesterol, the bad cholesterol, declined by 16 milligram deciliter, so 8% less than the baseline. Uh, total cholesterol by 19.6 milligram deciliter and non age density um, uh, cholesterol by basically uh, 19 milligram deciliter, minus 9% uh, compared to baseline. So again, it's a small, short duration randomized clinical trial, but it's statistical significant. Now, the animal data in APOE knockout mice, because let, let me remind you that uh, mice and rats uh, normal mice and rats, they don't develop atherosclerosis alike, unlike humans, and therefore you have to use animal model of atherosclerosis like animals that are knocked down for knockout for APOE. And these animals who were fed a high fat diet, the supplementation with propionic acid was the, able to reduce intestinal cholesterol absorption and aortic atherosclerotic lesion area volume. The mechanisms according to this paper are uh, that uh, propionic acid increase reg reg regulatory T cell numbers and interleukin 10 levels in the intestinal microenvironment. Uh, these increase in, in interleukin 10 and, 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 and Tregs uh, was uh, able to suppress the expression of the NCP1L1 uh, factor that is a, is a major intestinal cholesterol 
transporter. And they also show that the blockade of interleukin 10 receptor signaling was able to attenuate to reduce the propionic acid uh, uh, related reduction in total and LDL cholesterol and in increasing the severity of atherosclerotic lesion due to the high fat diet in APOE knockout mice. So again, very, very interesting paper um, demonstrating that uh, consuming a high fiber diet is reducing cholesterol and in animals atherosclerotic plaque volumes, not only by reducing the absorption of uh, cholesterol as we knew, or by increasing sterols and therefore having a competitive effect in the absorption of cholesterol. But it looks like there is another mechanism that is interleukin 10 mediated, so immune mediated in uh, uh, inhibiting this uh, cholesterol transporter in the intestinal mucosa. So thank you for your attention. And as always, um, uh, follow me if you're interested in understanding uh, the mechanisms through which diet, exercise, mindfulness, and many other techniques can improve your health and your wellness and your well being and potentially your lifespan. Thank you.